Hey guys and welcome to another glorious day on the farm. My name is Twitchy and we are in my farmhouse right now on the Close Encounters farm. A farm where we farm a chorus through over here by the power of robots. And we have ourselves a sugarcane patch and of course the flower farm been invaded by a UFO with a giant robot watching over that the military sent across and there's hippies around the back of the UFO watching over and of course behind it all there's a mysterious armor stands in black over there but I don't want to talk about any of that today I want to go over to the mysterious bunker that has been found in the mountain at the back here this is actually my de facto base on the server at the moment publicly available if you want to join in there'll be some links around I recommend going to the discord where the uh, community will welcome you with open arms. But why do we want to come to this bunker? Well, there are many reasons. Look at that big hole over there. I keep many, many things inside this bunker, not just liminal back rooms that feel a little bit weird, but I do have this a giant hole, a giant hole with an elevator, but we don't need an elevator because I put many, many slime blocks on this floor down here. And down below, we will find my equipment room. It's beautiful, it's colorful, I love it. Not many people have rooms this colorful in Minecraft, but this is not what I'm here for. I am here for my corridor of color collections out the back. We started this a little while ago. Hello, Mr. Uh Enderman down there. This guy, tra tragic, tragic backstory. You'll notice that he's uh, holding a uh, a block of grass that has a snow texture on it. You can't get that anymore. That is a restricted item, an item that you could only get. I think it was 1.16, something like that. Uh, and, and now we can't do that anymore. Um, he was outside. He got struck by lightning. He found his way down here, and I've kept him in a boat. We'll we'll probably be dealing with that today. We'll go through that. We'll take him somewhere safe. But the thing I want to get on with straight away. Way. You guys might remember this. This is my banner patterns room. Uh, you might know that banners... I've got a loom at the top. I've, I've built my roof out of looms for my pattern room, if you're wondering. That's why I could just click up there and it just shows me a loom. Now, for your casual Minecraft player, there, there's a whole bunch of patterns that you can put on here. They're all very, very nice patterns. They all do a remarkable job of giving you a range of possibilities to make whatever you want. But you might notice behind me that these three here were not available in this list. Uh, but have got to put the die in there. They're, they're just not there. They're just not there. There are some wonderful things like this dot in the middle or the, uh, the, the diamond, but these are not there. Uh, we had to go around and do some special things to collect this. The skull charge banner pattern, of course, we needed a wither skull. We needed a flower for the uh, the pattern banner, the flower pattern banner, flower charge. Uh, and of course, for the moyang banner, we needed a uh, an enchanted golden apple. But there are three left that we need to go and get. Over here, we've got the glow pattern. Now, the glow pattern we're going to talk about in a moment. Over here, we've got the snout pattern, found only in bastions. And of course, the creeper face, the creeper face, we need to go and get ourselves a creeper sc skull. Creep skull's gonna, gonna take some effort. I've lost... I've been playing so long, I've lost all my tridents. I don't have any of them that can, like, call lightning. So we're, we're gonna have to do something about that. But first, I think we need to travel back to the surface. I've built this absolutely magnificent uh, lift here, but I never use it. I never, never use it. We just fly my way up there. Uh, I do know other players here do use it quite a lot. But I need to travel from this place uh, off the top of the known world. This is the old map. This is post-118 map. Uh, I'm going, like, up here somewhere. We're going to be doing that, of course, with the power of the nether. We have a whole infrastructure project on the go over there. Thematically run by the uh, the zombie piglin army. I, I know this is something that is just kind of my head cannon, even in private, how's it going? Uh, but that, that is something that we've got here. I, I don't know why I decided to make this an optical illusion track. If I, if I actually run it all the way, we, we, we actually get a, a nice spinning effect as we move forward. But I'm headed towards the witch farm. Um, so let's head over that way. Halloweenies, many Halloweenies. The witch farm is sorely lacking in a proper station facility on the nether side. Is that just going to stay there? Which is a bit of a shame because it's where two... Oh, hello, Mr. Piglin. How are you doing? It's a place where two of the rail networks meet together. So maybe, maybe it would be nice to have a proper station. Thank you very much. Uh, to connect those. And it also 
very dangerous here. It is actually very dangerous. The number of times a gas has come along and started firing fireballs at us from the other side of that lava. It's incredibly anxiety building uh, bit being here. So yeah, it would be nice to do that at some point, but I, I don't really have any ideas for what we can do. Now this witch farm here is a great witch farm. It does wonderful things, produces all the redstone and um, glowstone dust and everything that we could ever need, but that's not what I'm here for. We're gonna fly over this way. We're just gonna drop out the bottom. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Look, look at the, look at this. Take a stop. Look at the wonders of my witch hut. It'd be really nice to make uh, an area around here that just blasts. Uh, so it looks like this this thing is blasting the floor away, and then have like uh, water flowing in from the sides. I, I think that would be amazing. But man, it's a big project to undertake on my own. Most of this was done uh, with friends, of course. <laughs> too 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 big a, a project to take on on your own. Uh, I did use a lot of TNT jupers. I did use a lot of TNT. Jeepers. But we have come over here for my weird little floating village. Uh, I've, I've spent so long looking over at the UFO here. That's a UFO, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. Uh, that we didn't take a moment to look at this weird floating village. Look, it's been raised up out of the ground here. This is where uh, 1.17 terrain met 1.18 terrain. Uh, and the, the generation is a bit weird. I think the village thinks it's up on the hill when, of course, there's water here. I, I've lost the ability to swim at some point. I'm pressing control with all my might, and it's just not working properly. I don't, I don't know what's happened there. If that's happening for anybody else, give me a heads up. I would like to know. But we're here to visit this uh, quartz monstrosity. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, we could have done better. We could have done better. Maybe having some little sort of cantilever under there. Hello, how are you doing? You are the person I'm here to see. Uh, look, we got the glow pad exactly there. I haven't... Hold up. I need, I need some emeralds. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so, sorry to have wasted your time. I didn't come in. I wasn't ready yet. I wasn't ready yet. Uh, let's go to the ender chest. One block of emerald should more than cover. Excuse me, Mr. Cartographer, my friend, if you could... Uh sorry to disturb your sleep i really thank you very much i really would like to talk to you glow pan nice so that that's one thing that we've been after also did you guys know woodland explorer map will take you to the woodland mansion you know wood, woodland explorer woodland mansion makes sense doesn't it sorry i shouldn't keep waking you up go to sleep mate. go to, go to sleep uh but this guy will take you to like the closest one and then you need another villager in this village who will then sell you another one a, a, a different map to a different place i've woken him up too often He's He's like, no, I'm not sleeping until you've gone. Uh, but let's get back. I mean, that was, that was quite the trip. So I'll bring us back quicker this time. Okay, great. Uh, over here, wait, we're over this way is what we're looking for. I've got this already set up. We've got a yellow die. We've got a purple banner. Let's go over to, is it the loom? I think, I hope it's the loom. And we both click, click, click. And we've got, oh, look at this. Amazing. I'm also really glad that they don't use up these globe pans. I mean, I'd be making many, many copies of them if that was the case. Let's break this off of here and pop that there. Oh, Oh, that, look, that looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. But of course, that's not the only thing. I, I missed the chest. I was trying to jump on it. That's not the only thing that we're doing today. Not at all. We've got ooh, ooh, we've got to go and rescue our uh, Enderman friend here. And in fact, I think we're going to build him... Do I want to call it an enclosure? A display case? I don't know. How do we, how do we talk about the little places that we keep to keep our friends because they are our friends that guy is very valuable i don't i don't ever want to like disrespect him as a uh, a piece of equipment hey how, how are you doing there interesting place to uh, to roost up I, I wonder i wonder whether this could make a good um chicken coop look you know you put put down a bit of i don't i don't have any on me but a bit of um coral to die and then it sat on top of a of a nest yes yeah what a, what a, what a great idea you're, you're not doing so well, though. We might have to try and rescue you. Now, uh, in the chat, I've written Z equals 27. I'm going to open up my, my big old F3 screen here, uh, and we're going to look for a Z... Wait, no, we're not Z. We're, uh, it's not Z at all. It's Y27. been working with um, physics coordinates for far too long. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. It's a, it's an actual level. It, it's really a level here. It's not just some random, like, halfway down. I was totally expecting to be, like, on, on this level here or something like that, halfway down uh, and very un, unfortunate placement. But no, 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 we've, we've, we've got exactly what we want here. So I'm going to try and make us uh, one. I'm going to try and make us a nice little uh, enclosure. I'm going to call it an enclosure. But two, we, we're definitely going to have to go and get that end of them.
So I think I made a rather welcoming environment for our good friend. I've gone ahead and put a bunch of skulk on the wall because I feel like it mimics the uh, the, the sky of the end. Uh, put some end stone on the floor. I was kind of hoping the um, chorus fruit would grow a little bit and of course a few end rods here but we need to get our friend in here and if we just have a look through this wall I've already prepared a tunnel of course I have it would be quite a while for us to actually just dig through this tunnel uh, it was a little bit of a mission uh, if, if we just pick any uh, I don't know about any random wall no no I, I, if we went through that one that wouldn't be it but if we, if we pick through certain random walls uh, this one yeah this one this, this, this look, look at this look look at this look how far I had to bridge through here this this was a lot a lot of water that I had to come through and that that was just one of like three separate cave systems I made it very dark in here that's not great but I came down I turned the corner we carried on digging and here is my friend now we're gonna have to try and move this guy as quietly and as gently as possible I'm terrified terrified that we're gonna end up losing them can I press f5 without having troubles I just don't want to make them angry Oh, this this doesn't feel good. I don't know. About, I don't know about you, but I I don't feel like this feels very good. Let alone what's going to happen when I swap back to my other camera mode. Like, if, uh, because I've I've got to, I've got to end up pointing the camera in the other direction. And is that going to end up with me looking at my? Is that going to end up with me looking at my ender buddy? I mean, he's looking at me now. So this is this is going to be uh, some some troubles. Some troubles. Thankfully though, it feels like this trip is going to be mostly uneventful. I kind of want to put them right here. Now can I get out without causing more troubles? I, I feel so. I'm just going to look down. <laughs> <laughs> camera moments, camera moments. Uh, seal this back in. I don't know if there's anything we can use that tunnel for. Have you really just like turned around? Okay, yeah, I see. I see what's happened here. Let's let's see if we can make that happen again. I I, I need the block on display. That's kind of like the whole point is to have. What is this? <laughs> What? Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. 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 What happens if I get out and we're already facing this direction? Is that is that gonna help out back? No. Of course not. So it doesn't matter what direction I get out of the boat. It ends up turning. Oh, I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. I've taken blocks out in the background. There's been all sorts going on here to try and make this a nice containment area. Okay, let's, let's have a look at this box that I've got here. Uh, book, not box. What, what, what box? That's, that's the box over there. Specimen EHGCS01 holds a con discontinued item, a naked snowy grass block. I should put the word block there somewhere. I uh, gather from an alpine version in, uh, an alpine biome, sorry, in version 1.16. This enderman picked up a grass block from under a snow layer. Observe the white texture. Uh, from 1.17 onwards, an enderman picking up a block from this state would end up holding a regular green grass block. So this this is this is very special. This is something that we can't even fix with commands if like things go very very wrong down here. So I'm I'm very ha happy that we've hidden it uh, on on the the way down to the vault. The vault is a project that I've not actually done yet. Uh, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to want to keep down there, like the old maps and and stuff like this. Uh, I've got to say this this entrance way it could definitely use a little bit of work everything around here super sci-fi stylings it's looking good even even like this sort of technological looking bit here this is old right this is an ancient piece of technology left behind uh, and this this is the the new looking tech so what is this stone corridor? I'll have to come up with something there, but let me show you another discontinued item. That Enderman kind of comes as a pair. Oh, I bet I'm gonna get some phantoms. It's late at night and I've not slept for a little while. But up the top here, uh, it was uh, at the same time that the, the Enderman's behavior was changed, uh, Podzol's behavior got changed. You might note that this this is Podzol and this is Snowy Podzol. You see the, the grass on the side. Uh, this is just what naturally happens when grass falls, uh, not grass, snow falls on top of Podzol. Yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. Uh, but here, here's some Podzol that was grown underneath some snow with a spruce tree. You know when you just grow a giant spruce tree uh, it changes some of the grass into podzol well this was a bug that was happening uh, and and now this happens if, if you grow it so it's another discontinued item right there I'm, I'm just gonna fly away from these guys 
and fly into my corridors of collections because one we 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 put a hole in the wall and we need we need to patch this hole in the wall back up beautiful but two let's go and have a look back in over i missed back in over here with my banners uh and let's talk about these two that they're, they're the last two Oh, missed the button. The last two banners that I need to collect. This one is for the creeper head, and this one we need a pattern from a bastion. This is going to probably take a whole episode in and of itself. I need to make a trident farm, and then we need to track down some creepers and get a creeper to blow up a creeper whilst not blowing myself up. Oh, it's going to it's going to be a thing. I might even make a an automatic farm, but probably not. Uh, this one though. This is just going to take some exploration, and I know exploration of the nether is not my strong suit. I, I have had many, many a bad time over here, so I'm, go I'm just going to take a few of these. Four of each sounds like a good idea, and we're just, we're just going to go exploring. Somewhere out there, there are bastions. There are remnants of what the piglins used to be. I think I'm going to take the bridge rather than flying. Uh, and, and in there, there will be uh, chests. Chest to be open and inside there sometimes can be a loot of a banner pattern uh, it's not a thing we can trade for it's not a thing that we can really find in any other way It's literally just by going out to the bastions and trying to raid them for their sweet goodness on the inside uh, so I'm, I, I guess that's it I guess that's what I'm doing I'm off exploring I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my recordings going because no doubt something hilarious is gonna happen but uh yeah I'll, I'll I'll see you when I find at least, well, until either that funny thing happens or I find a bastion, whichever happens first. Every now and then you just come across the relics of other players' passages at some point. This might even be old enough. So every now and then I am forced to uh, purge the the files. Oh no, this was a thousand days ago. I thought this would have been much, much longer. Uh, I thought that would have been old enough to uh, to have been purged. I, it doesn't happen often. I think we've only had to do it three times since the reset of the server, but it does mean that if you find something that's not got any records of who placed it or uh, what's happened around there, you can be fairly sure it's really old. Oh man, render distance is doing me a bad right now. I, what what do I need to change so I can see the gas that's firing the, the, the balls at me? Uh, I, I, I need to be able to change something on the, either the server side or my side. Uh, there he is. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, th things definitely need to change here. Oh, how did I not? How did I not? I think I found one. I uh, was traveling and I found it. Okay, that's good. I do have a bit of a problem of uh, inventory space though. I discovered this when I just found a bunch of nether quartz. So, I mean, like that can go, the bones can go, maybe even the blackstone and the basalt. I probably would have preferred to keep the basalt for blocks, but I think we're fine. Uh, I've only got uh, a terrible bow. The first thing I need to do is see whether there's any brutes there or not. That will tell me whether this place has been raided. I've not actually taken one of these on before. I know, crazy. I've played this game for so long. That's a regular piglin. Um, I feel like I probably should have brought some gold armor with me, but I'm sure we'll do fine, or at least gold for bribing. Bam! Here is... Ooh. These guys going to just keep keep flooding at me now. I, th I think that might be okay. No, they, they didn't see. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to just like creep through here and see what I can see because I feel like this place is going to be empty. Oh, well, immediately fell into the lava. That That's fun. That's cool. <laughs> Ooh, look, a bit of gilded blackstone. Maybe this place hasn't been raided. They're just going to, like, drop in on me, right? This is a bad idea because I'm not going to have an escape route jump over here and see what I can see. Oh, there's a brute. Ah, run right away. Oh, all right. Okay. No, that's fine. <laughs> if I was a loot chest, where would I be? I'm not 100% sure that this one even has it in. Nope, nope. Thank you. Oh, brute, brute, brute. 
Oh, he's gonna he's gonna kill me outright, and I'm gonna be so far from home. Away we go. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean that that was a trifle intense for a moment there. Let's just keep feeding up. Maybe maybe let's uh, take a moment in my little entrance tunnel over here. Okay, thinking I'd be clever, I've dug my way in through the side here. Oh, here's another gilded blackstone. Thank you very much. Uh, and I, I found this weird little pocket. Right, right here. It's just this. This was this was open. Like I didn't, I didn't dig this out. Uh, and then coming through here, I found my way here. Now I, I kind of want to go up. I feel, I feel compelled to go up. But or can I get him? How, how are you not fireproof? You live in the Nether. I'm gonna have a workbench in here somewhere. All right, put put my hat on. Put put a gold hat on. This this should stop me giving, getting quite so much hassle. I still have to worry about the brutes and the hoglins, but uh, that that should help. That should help. And I've got some gold to throw at them if I ever need to distract them. Hello. No, no, come on, mate. I'm wearing the hat. Oh, this one's not gonna be as good. Uh, I don't even have any blocks on my bar. Go. I ran out of blocks. That's that's why I don't have any blocks. Up. There's there's the chests. There's the chests. I just I need. I need some blocks first. Blocks are life in a lot of situations. I could have just like towered up out of that situation and then tried to take his tasty head via the power of my looting sword. Um, chest though, chests. I, I I don't know if I'm going straight there. I, I think I'm going straight there, right? Let, let's see. Let's see who tries to give me hassle when I go there. Because of course, the moment I open a chest all snot is gonna break loose. I wasn't ready. Why was I not prepared for this? Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, okay, well that, that could have gone better. I could have had my sword in my hand straight away, but for some reason I had my rocket in my hand, so that, that, that didn't, that didn't go down so well. I mean, that's one way to kill a brute, I suppose? Oh, I'm just... <laughs> This, this this is probably not going to go well, but I'm just going to throw this, press 1, and wait and see what happens. Not dead yet. Who's going to come get me? I think there should be at least one brute left, okay? And then these guys, no problem. Okay, here's our first attack. Oh, look at that gold gilded under there. Uh, okay, war pigs. Uh, gilded blackstone, got some ancient debris, a block of iron, gold. I'll take, I'll, I'll take all of this, you know, I will actually take all of this. Mildly terrified of this place, mildly terrified. Uh, more ancient debris, gilded blackstone, I will take the golden carrots, golden boots, nice. There's another chest, yeah, let's do it. No. Ooh, lodestone though. Great. I cannot leave my ender chest behind. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I've done a room to room down to the area where we entered this place. This is this bridge over here. So now I'm left wondering what what is below. It goes down quite far. Are there more oh, gilded blackstone I've missed over there? Are there more chests under there, or is it just like a uh, like the cobblestone base for a, uh, a a woodland mansion? Is is this just all just filling? I have no idea how to find out without just like digging right. Ooh, it's it's full of gilded blackstone though. That, but yeah, I don't know how to find out without just digging through. So we're just gonna dig through. Okay, so I have top to bottom this place several times, and whilst there is plenty of gilded blackstone, if I want to rip this place fully, fully apart, uh, I am quite convinced that there are no this wall here. Uh, I'm quite convinced that there are no chests to be found, so I think this means I've got to move on. Lo, I was just flying back to check something, and I think I found a different one. Is this is this a different? I think this is a different one. This doesn't this doesn't feel familiar. Uh, I think over here somewhere is yeah. There it is. <laughs> Look how close they are together. Look how close. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Well. This is what I'm here to do, so let's do it. Ooh, first chest. Uh, gilded, gilded, gilded. I don't care about the mag, but the golden apple, though. Let's, let's leave one of those behind for someone. That's a chest that I haven't tried over there. They're quite angry at me. I think they noticed me opening the last chest, or... Ooh. Get, 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 out, get out of here. You scared me. You scared me. A uh, bit netherite scrap. I mean, that's all nice. You know what I need to do? I need I need to put a bunch of this away. Okay, honestly, this place is confusing, but I think this is one that I've not touched before. They really do get angry at me breaking their gilded blackstone, don't they? I, I mean, I suppose I can understand. Ooh, look, a little bit more under there. I suppose I can understand. Uh, that. That's good for that one. I'm going to come up and 
stabbing in the back. I was gonna act like we were cool, but you know what, nah. I mean, it's their fault for attacking me just for stealing their gilded blackstone. Why is there cooked pork chop in there? Is that is that really a thing that these guys leave behind? This place is an absolute maze. Look at it. I have no idea where the goodies are kept. I'm just running around each level hoping to find a chest somewhere, somehow. There's got, there's got to be one around somewhere, right? Okay, I think I've searched this place out. I'm not. I, I was. I thought I saw a, a chest over that way, but I've not. I've not found it. So may, maybe I was just hallucinating. Let's drop in here. Hello, how's everybody doing? There's another floor down there as well. Okay, this is all good. There are some angry noises around. Pigman brute. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hello. If you don't mind. Oh, I mean, I should really try and keep this guy alive, but... Is that a brute head? That's a brute head? Oh my gosh. Alright, cool. Well, I, that was something I wanted, so that's that's good. That's that's very good. That's, oh, that's, that's great, actually. That's amazing. At what cost, though? At what cost? Okay, I found the chest, but I've also found a bunch of hoglins. Ah! <laughs> and over. All right, cool. Oh man, how did you get over here? Can I can I toe to toe it? Yes. Oh, not for two though. Whoa! <laughs> Actually, I probably could have. I probably could have. Look at look at my health. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Sometimes you just feel like you're getting overwhelmed despite the fact that actually you can just soak a little bit more damage. Let's try and get the baby dealt with, if we can. How are you not dead yet? Okay, there we go. And then you, you, you're just gonna run away? Is that, is that it? I see some gold over there, by the way. Whoa, they hit so hard. Just like, so hard. Uh, let's go get the gold and then go check the chest out. Okay, nom 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 nom. Don't do it, mate. You've already gone running once. Keep, keep running. Keep running. And the final chest of the second Bastia? Uh, no. No. At this point I'd figured out that maybe it's going to take more than a couple of Bastions to find the Pig Snout banner. So I turned off my recording because I do have a habit of just talking a little bit too much and got my exploration on. I believe I found a treasure room Bastion and with this being a simple box with a bunch of balconies running around the outside, my plan is simple. I'm going to drop in from the top, we're going to walk around, kill everything that looks like it's going to be deadly towards me and then go raid the chests. <laughs> well, it's in the first chest. I should have kept recording, but hey, hey, we got it. That's the big thing. It was great. Now I'm, I'm overjoyed by it. So job achieved, I hit what little chests I could find just laying around, stole myself a few gold blocks, and then decided it was probably time to make my way home. A small flight through the nether, I found a tunnel, a very long tunnel that just led me home. Back home to the corridor of collections, back where our story started today. Full circles, we got rid of the Enderman, I say got rid of, we, we have put the Enderman in a very, very nice place. We can also come along to the snout pattern here, grab our purple banner, yellow die make use of a loom bam 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 we've got ourselves one of the weirdest patterns in the group I have to say I, I'm not sure whether I see it more as let's put these away see see it more as like like a face isn't this, is this a robot face two eyes and uh, a bit of a head here uh, you probably would like to see the haul that we we got from today we've got, we've got some gilded uh, black stone that wouldn't fit in here and then some golden carrots i got two uh, snout pans so I've got, got a couple of those going spare it turns out some lodestones ancient debris uh, this is my actual helmet uh, the uh, the pickling brute head that's that's good that's that's gonna go very nicely with my collection as I've said a couple of times now, we run the More Mob Heads uh, data pack from Vanilla Tweaks, uh, and I, I used to just keep everything kind of rammed into these chests, but I've started sorting everything out, and indeed the Piglin Brute goes right there, replace a piece of paper, that is brilliant, I've already had a couple of Ghast Heads. Uh, that's because, look, 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 look at all these that I've got, this is like uh, aquatic, and then cold, and hot. 
uh, all, of, all of these in here uh, because it's one of the things that I want to work on in my corridor of collections not only do we have to get the creeper skull for the pattern the, 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 the creeper face pattern but if we go down just a little bit further I should have taken flight a little bit sooner we've got this room over here the head room and that is definitely going to be one of the things we're going to be looking at into the future but with that I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen we got a whole bunch done today or we only got two banner patterns and an end of a move however you want to look at it i feel like we achieved a great deal today and i will see you guys next time uh where we're either going to be carrying on with the banner patterns back there try and get myself a trident once more and get some creepers uh to blow each other up or of course we have a bit of a big build on the go i'm over in my creative server right now i'm trying to build a giant spaceship of course for the battleships game whichever one of these two you want to see be sure to leave me a comment and let me know but i'll see you then when we're gonna do one of those bye bye